Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit that notification bell, get all the updates. Really excited for today's video. It's my last Black is Beautiful beer, so, you know, bittersweet, but I'm really excited to do it. Uh, it's from a brewery that I don't think I've had anything from them, but I'm familiar with them and I've heard good things. They're, uh, it's gigantic, and obviously this was brewed in collaboration with Weathered Souls, because they're the ones who came up with the, uh, the base recipe. That one, if you do it, like according to them, it should clock in at 10%. This one's 8.7%, so I don't know if they tweaked the recipe or just when they brewed it, it came in a little under. Uh, they are still calling it an Imperial Stout. Um, Gigantic's out of Portland, Oregon. Uh, I said that part. This is interesting. It's a refillable bottle. Um, and I don't know what that means out there. So I'm hoping it's still good. We'll see. Proper glassware. Oh, it's got a hiss. That's a good sign. It's not overflowing. Oh, here it comes. Started going up a little bit. Okay, nothing too crazy. All right, it look. It, wow. Okay, it's looking good. I'm not too worried about how. Uh, other than my glass is dirty. Just wash this out. Anyway, yeah, it's dark. There is brown. I mean, there, there's noticeable. Maybe it's the lighting. But it, there's noticeable brown, but it is dark. I mean, it's a black color, but there's some brown mixed in. Just over a finger. Actually, it's almost exactly what I would call mocha. Um, small bubbles. I mean, there's tiny ones. There's a couple medium ones as the bubbles are breaking. You know, parts look like it could be nitro. The other parts, not quite nitro, but close. Uh, other parts are getting a little bit more just regular small, medium. Anyway... Yeah, some nice lacing stays on the glass. Let's get to the aroma. It looks beautiful, if I didn't say that. Anyway, let's get to the aroma. So it's been a minute since I've had a Black is Beautiful beer, but it does have a lot of like that roast. It's not, because a lot of those, it's like, <clears throat> was it a Russian Imperial Stout? Or was it more like a big black IPA? Because it had that roast and it had that, you know, like earthy hoppiness to it as well this one is pretty clearly in the stout range but it is roasty like it, it's just at least right now maybe in the taste but in terms of the aroma it's not at all making me think black ipa there's a little woodiness it's and again it's been a little while since i've had another one it's a little lighter um, but what is there it does smell really good. There, you know, there's a light baker's chocolate note. It's definitely a drier smelling beer. It does not come, and it shouldn't, you know. But if they again, if they did it pretty close to the recipe, it shouldn't come across like a pastry stout or something that sweet. It, it definitely is not. It's a very dry smelling stout. Let's get to the taste. Cheers. That's good. Um, actually is a lot like the aroma there is a little bit of that is it a black IPA but it, it's mostly the, the roasty Russian Imperial Stout <clears throat> so it definitely follows the nose that way you have that dry baker's chocolate for sure you have that earthy woodsy thing I got in the aroma it's not coffee. The roast isn't enough to be, for me anyway, like, or is it a coffee adjunct? Like, it, it doesn't have that, <clears throat> excuse me, that intensity, but there is a lot of roast there. Also, like I was saying about the aroma, uh, it's definitely not overly sweet. It has a nice dry quality to it. It drinks great. And, and again, I, I don't know what, re, even like the glass itself says refillable. Um, give this bottle another life. Return to your local bottle drop. Customer service, there's like a crease. I don't know what that word is because of the crease. Oh, at participating retailers, maybe? So maybe it's like in New York that you you get like five cents if you uh, bring back your bottles and cans. Maybe it's something similar to that program. Anyway, it just made me think of like a growler, fill, and this has been a while that we've been sitting in a growler, but it, it's clearly not the case. It was sealed correctly. Uh, back to the taste of the beer. It is actually, for anyone who tuned out after I talked about the aroma, you kind of get the taste because it, it follows it so much. It is a little lighter 
in, in body and mouthfeel. Not a ton. It's not a thin beer. Don't get me wrong. But it's definitely lighter than what I'm remembering those beers tasting like. Um, not by much. Actually, you know what? To kind of keep it in the percentage range, you know, if you know if, if those were a hundred percent, this probably is like eighty percent, eighty five percent is full, and that's kind of the ABV. So that's kind of interesting. It, it syncs up ratio wise uh, in terms of fullness and body to what I'm remembering, and then also the ABV. Um, it's killer. I actually kind of like that's a little lower ABV. Um, you know, it won't. I won't feel as much tomorrow, <laughs> but uh, yeah, killer beer uh, for my first beer from Gigantic, or at least the first one I can remember. Um, I'm impressed, and I would be interested in trying maybe some of uh, you know their stuff that they're not looking at someone else's recipe. So I'd be pretty rad. I know uh, Han Yolo has uh, reviewed some of their stuff, and it sounds good. At least the ones I've watched have uh, sounded good. Shout out to Han. You guys should definitely check out him, Han Yolo. Uh, but yeah, great beer. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Check me out on Instagram and Untapped. It's no hype beer reviews of both of those places. So please, please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.